Greetings everybody, welcome to another video. On this week uh, tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to uh, use OBS to uh, Facebook Live. Now a lot of you are like saying, you know, we could just use a webcam or use our uh, cell phone to just Facebook Live. But uh, OBS lets you do more than just Facebook your camera, you know, you could uh, screen capture, you know, gameplay uh, to stream live on Facebook. You could uh, show a presentation uh, on your Facebook live stream. Uh, let's say you giving a seminar and you have a PowerPoint presentation you want to show them. Um, also, you may uh, want to add some, uh, you know, some graphic on top of uh, your uh, webcam, you know, uh, kind of like an overlay uh, showing, you know, uh, you know, some social media information, or maybe if you have a guest on your uh, webcam, you know, you want to introduce them as well. You could pretty much uh, produce a full podcast type of a uh, live stream uh, and post it on Facebook. So these are some of the things you could do, you know, using OBS for, uh, you know, for uh, Facebook. And now you like saying, you know, Facebook is kind of on its way out. You know, there's like last week it kind of went downhill with the Facebook losing 20% of the market value and things like that. But to be honest, you know, Facebook has over 2 billion subscribers worldwide. And that's just such a huge demographic to, to just ignore, you know. Uh, if you were, you know, streaming on YouTube, you may want to also stream on Facebook as well, so you could also gain, uh, you know, get access to that demographics as well. So, anyway, let's uh, start off by uh, starting OBS. All right now that we got OBS started, let's see here our uh, collections of scenes I made previously on previous tutorials for uh, streaming up to uh, YouTube. This is uh, what I call the waiting screen or or uh, be back stream, you know, uh, something to uh, to suspend your live streaming while you either waiting for people to come in or you need to uh, take a break from uh, your stream. So uh, this is uh, the scene that uh, I created uh, for that purpose. Now I leave a link um, in the corner uh, referencing to how to create a scene and live stream to YouTube uh, so you could check that out to uh, see how you could uh, configure to live stream to YouTube and uh, how to create this, uh, these scenes. Um, but today I'm going to show you how we're going to switch it all up to um, live stream to Facebook. Um, as you see, we could use the same scenes interchangeably. We could use we could stream these scenes to uh, YouTube, and we could use the same scenes and stream and stream it to Facebook as well. So the issue with that is that each time you uh, want to go into your um, uh, settings to change the setting, it's it's kind of uh, you know uh, repetitive, you know. Uh, what we could do is create a new profile and by creating a new profile you create a new set of uh, settings and you could then customize those settings to either stream to Twitch or stream to Facebook or stream to YouTube since this set of uh, settings I'm using is for YouTube I'm gonna create uh, a profile uh, for Facebook. So you would just type in Facebook. You see, every all the setting is defaulted. So um, you would just go into your settings tab, and you just go one by one and change it. 
Now, um, I usually like to keep the canvas and uh, output uh, resolution the same, just to save on uh, processing, uh, or we wouldn't use as much processing. Um, also, make sure your audios are enabled. Uh, make sure your uh, mic is enabled, make sure your desktop audio is uh, on and if you have any other uh, audio device make sure they are also uh, turned on and, uh, and not in disabled or, or uh, not set. The output, uh, set uh, the output mode to advance. Now the streaming uh, I'm using audio track one, that's fine. Um, I'm going to use the hardware encoding because I have a dedicated graphics card, so I'll go use that to do most of the encoding. That would save, um, save work on your processor. Also, uh, select various bit rate and set the bit rate to 4000. Now, depending on the, your internet speed, if your internet speed is lacking, then you could set this down a little lower. Um, but uh, if your internet speed is not an issue, you know, 4000 is fine. Now, this is the most important part. Uh, make sure to uh, select the streaming service to Facebook Live. Oops. Now we gotta just go in uh, to Facebook and get our stream key. Now once you log into Facebook, uh, just uh, on your top of your wall there's a live video uh, button. You click on that. Now uh, right now it say you can't access camera. That's fine because OBS is using it, and you know, we gotta be going through OBS to live stream anyway, so. Click on the connect tab or the connect button on top. Now here make sure you have the persistent uh, stream key uh, checked because if um, you don't want to every time you stream the stream key changes. If it changes then you have to copy it each time and go into OBS and you know update it. So you don't want to, you know, do that each time. I mean, maybe you want to because, you know, for security purposes, it's probably a good idea. But I mean, we gotta just gonna put it persistent, so we don't have to worry about setting each time. Also, uh, over here, you know, you could uh, type in what uh, what kind of uh, live stream you you giving, and uh, it's a test stream. And also here's the privacy settings, you know, being is only for testing purposes, it's only for me. But you could specific, you know, a certain group of people to watch your stream or you could exclude a certain amount of people to watch your stream. You could only have your friends see your stream or a specific group, you know. And also public, you know, everybody could see your, you know, your stream. Much. So just set it to uh, only me. Now that you cop, make sure you copy uh, the stream key. Just copy it. Go into OBS. Go into the stream key. Copy and paste, and apply. Okay. Now let's start the stream. Take a few moments. Well, now here's the stream started. As you see here, you know, here's your um, intro uh, or your waiting area. You're waiting for the, the, the stream to fill up with people before you start your live stream. So once uh, you have enough people in your stream, you could then, you know, switch it over, start the stream.
takes a little bit of time. I create a little dirt here to put into your uh, the inco incorporating the OBS, make it make your webcam a little more interesting. I mean, leave in the comments if you want, if you're interested in want to create uh, a specific uh, little dirt that you can put into OBS. Um, I will maybe I would uh, create the tutorial of that in the future for it. Also, in my OBS, uh, it was uh, the music ticker uh, scene that I created from my music ticker tutorial. Also, you know, play that. So if you, you know, create music and you want to stream your music on Facebook for other people to listen, this is uh, one way of doing it. Also, like I said, you can also stream games. So. Here's uh, the game streaming. Right, once you're uh, done, ready to live stream, you just go live and the stream will start. We're not gonna even go that far. I mean, the preview will show you uh, what's going on, but when you're ready to stream, just make sure to click on the live button. And once you're done with your stream, you just close out the window and go into OBS and stop streaming. And that be the end of that. Anyway, uh, leave in the comments if you have any questions. Um, hit the like button if you found this tutorial useful and, uh, and interesting. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel to uh, keep up to date of uh, upcoming videos and hit the notification bell to get notified of upcoming videos. As always everybody, have a nice day and I see you on the next video. Take care everybody.